While I was in the military and I lived in the barracks, we had a thing that was called Better Opportunities for Single Soldiers or BOSS. It sounds like a dating meetup program. No, but it was supposed to help create fun events for people that lived in the barracks so they didn't just sit in the barracks and drink all the time. It was like, oh, we're going to have this meeting out here and there's going to be baseball and food and fun times and there'll be people playing music. I and, love those days. Those are so fun. And you have to show up in civilian clothes. And also, we're having a formation afterwards, which you have to be in uniform for. That part's not so fun. I'm literally in the middle of work. I have 15 weapons that need to be fixed right now, but I have to go to this uh, mandatory fun day, so whoop de doo So I had to go back from work to the barracks, get changed into civilian clothes, go to this meeting, and they were like, oh, there'll be food there. So I didn't eat lunch. <laughs> I know where this story's going. So I show up for the mandatory fun day. They have hot dogs. Five dollars a pop. Yeah, which are five bucks a piece. For charity, right? No, it goes to the better opportunities for single soldiers thing so that they can have more fun meetings like this. Eh, pretty much charity, but it's a terrible charity. Anyway, show up there. I have to pay like five bucks. I don't have any money. Then I have to go to a formation. So I have to go back to the barracks, get changed into my uniform, put on my black wool hat that I have to wear in the summer in mm. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Where it feels like 120 degrees outside. I stand in formation for 10 minutes and then pass out because my blood sugar is too low. <laughs> yeah. I wake up and my first sergeant and a medic are dragging me away from the formation. Did you get the silver bullet? No, I didn't. The medic that was dragging me back was not part of like an organized medical thing. He was just a medic that was standing in formation behind me. Oh, you're lucky they didn't have any thermometers on hand. Thank God. According to him, this is pretty much what happened. This is, this is bullshit. <laughs> 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 I fell into the person in front of me and knocked him over. I wake up, my first sergeant and a medic are dragging me back, and my first sergeant is cussing me out and telling me that I have disgraced him and the entire unit because I passed out. Uh, the medic is telling the first sergeant that he needs to shut the fuck up because I just passed out, probably from low blood sugar. Mm -hmm. And also because it's 120 degrees outside. He's like, did you eat at all today? And I was like, no, I didn't eat. I went to the boss meeting and he's like you gotta eat before those things man they charge you money because it wasn't his first rodeo either anyway long story short i passed out because the army said that there was gonna be food there and then there wasn't food there except there was food there but i had to pay money for like it. they do every year yeah